Am I the arsehole? Forgetting a pregnancy craving during a party? A 29 female am pregnant with my boyfriend Sam 32. Sam and I went to a party for his family. No momentous occasional just a normal family get together. During my pregnancy I have had intense cravings. While we were at the party I told Sam I was craving a slushy. About 30 minutes away. We had just arrived about 20 minutes prior. He said to give him a little while and we'd go get one. After about 30 more minutes I said it again to Sam. He said fine get in the car. On our way there we got into an argument and he thinks the craving could have waited a couple hours. He's now mad at me we have to leave the party early. We see his family two three times a month sometimes more and I don't think it's a big deal to leave when I have a craving. Am I the asshole? You're the asshole. You don't have to have everything you crave during your pregnancy the second it pops into your head. You could have waited. Also, why couldn't you go yourself and get it if you wanted it so badly? Why did he need to go with it? You're the asshole. About 30 minutes away. That is objectively too far to travel for a snack. You're the asshole. I've had two kids. I get cravings. But you don't get to demand that your BF leave a get together 20 minutes after you have driven 30 minutes to get there. Yes, he put it off and you were oh so not patient for another 30 minutes. SMDH. It is a big deal and honestly, seems like a total power play. I would really consider how long he's going to stick around for this kind of disregard for him and his wants. You're the asshole. Just because you get a craving doesn't mean everybody has to drop everything to accommodate you. If you don't get the slushy, you'll live. Even in such a short post, you come off as childish and entitled. Edit I've got five offspring. There's nothing you can tell me about cravings I haven't experienced. You're the asshole. You were in the middle of a family event and demanded he either spend an hour driving to get you a slushy, or leave the party after only just getting there. At the very least why couldn't you go yourself? I understand pregnancy cravings are tough but it's hardly a medical emergency. If you were in the middle of a workday would you just dip for an hour because you needed a slushy? Having four kids I understand cravings but I do not understand why you couldn't solve this problem on your own. You literally wanted crushed ice sugar. Ice cubes any kind of juice thrown in a blender would work. You're the asshole. BTW it is a big deal to hand your problems to someone else expect them to fix them. You're pregnant, not incapable. You're the asshole. Cravings are not an immediate oh my god must have it now or I will perish need. Grow up. One you really want something right now. It's something you can get any day of the week. He wants you to wait two hours. Two he really wants something right now. It's something that happens once a week or less. You want him to wait a week or more. Why do you win? Why do you get to decide that his want isn't important and he should wait instead of you waiting and probably also being able to get what you want just two hours later? You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Cravings aren't a necessity they're a want. You could definitely have waited. You're the asshole. Someone will have to explain to me in detail why a craving would need to be immediately satisfied to get me to change my view. Why is this a leave now and not a we will get one when we leave thing? Cause otherwise you can use craving as a eject button for any interaction and it beholdens him to your any whim. There has to be a reasonability element to a request. Is there a word for pregnant women that's synonymous with bridezilla for brides? There should be. You're the asshole for not being able to wait an hour longer. You're the asshole. Cold sugar water can be replicated without an hour round trip. You're the asshole there were two appropriate options here go get your own slushy or wait a few more hours to get it. You're not going to be harmed by holding off a craving for two hours. You don't get to have every single thing you want just because you're pregnant. You're the asshole an hour round trip drive for slushy 20 minutes into a family gathering? And you needed a chauffeur? How are you confused about being the asshole? 
That's an obviously rude and selfish demand given the circumstances. You're the asshole. A pregnancy craving isn't a reason to leave a family event. You had just arrived and immediately wanted to leave. That isn't fair. If you were at work and got a craving, you wouldn't just leave 50 minutes into your shift. You're the asshole. Not for having a craving, that is out of your control, but for thinking that your craving is an emergency that must be attended to. You're the asshole, pregnancy doesn't automatically make you lose all social grace and personal agency. You're the asshole, cravings aren't a medical emergency. You're not TA for getting a craving, but you're the asshole for acting like you have zero control and your cravings should suddenly be the top priority regardless of what else is happening. You're the asshole. You absolutely could have waited till the drive home for that slushy. Or you could I'd get yourself there so he can continue with the get together uninterrupted. Your pregnancy cravings don't give you a right to get your way on everything. You're the asshole. A craving is a want not a need. You didn't have an acute case of slushy deficiency, you just felt like one. We've all dealt with pregnancy cravings and they're not fun, but you're a whole ass adult and more than capable of waiting a few hours to get a slushy. You're the asshole. I can't imagine being so incredibly self-centered to disrupt a family gathering your husband's family at that due to a craving. Please sincerely apologize to your husband, and do better going forward. You're the asshole. This wasn't a life or death situation. You could have curbed that craving or waited. And yes, I've had four pregnancies with intense cravings so I know where you're coming from. There was no reason to leave just because you had to have a slushy right then. Also, why didn't you just drive yourself? You're the asshole. Your craving could have waited a couple hours, it won't harm you to not immediately get the snack you want. Pregnancy cravings are legit but your timing was awful. Drive 30 minutes away after only 20 minutes at the party? I would be pissed too. You could have waited. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. 30 minutes away? Pregnancy isn't an excuse to be a selfish jerk, taking him away from his family for an hour. I promise you'll survive if you quell your cravings once in a while to be a normal, thoughtful human being. I don't think it's a big deal to leave when I have a craving read that ten times, if you still think you're in the right after it then there is nothing we can do to change you. Jesus, it's not insulin you'll live. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Come on here. You're the asshole the world doesn't revolve around you and your cravings. You're a fully grown adult who can wait. Or just drive yourself if it's so important. You're the asshole. Give me a break. So you craved a slushy. Stop blaming everything on pregnancy and acting like it's some uncontrollable thing. Also, you're not special because you're pregnant. Why didn't you go drive to the store and buy a slushy? Make your boyfriend leave a family get-together because you wanted a slushy. Sounds like a kid demanding a candy at an inconvenient time. A slushy is not a life-death need your boyfriend is not a slave to obey your every silly whim. Maybe if you had to inconvenience yourself and drive to buy a slushy, you'd learn to curb these cravings. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Cravings are not something you need to fulfill immediately. You could have waited. E2 I've had two kids. I had cravings in both pregnancies. When I was pregnant, I had such intense cravings for mint that every time I brushed my teeth, I had to talk myself out of eating toothpaste straight from the tube. Needless to say, I managed to avoid eating toothpaste for nine months. You could have waited until the party was over and got a slushy on the way home. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. The craving could have waited. It's a slushy, not a meal. You wouldn't be starving if you didn't get the slushy. You're the asshole. Could you not drive yourself? Are you too pregnant? Even if you could not drive yourself, asking someone to drive one hour round trip for a slushy when you just arrived at a family get together is super obnoxious. You're the asshole. Wow, you couldn't even wait for an hour at least. 
I understand cravings but at the point you shouldn't have even shown up. You're the asshole. I'm currently pregnant and wouldn't even think about doing something shitty as making my husband or anybody leave party or whatever because I have a craving. You just want to eat something specific, it's not like you have to or something would happen to you or baby. If you're that hungry eat anything and have slushy or whatever you are craving when you have a chance is certainly can wait few days. Really, really don't get that spoiled and entitled behavior. But, uh, a craving is a want, not a need. You could have sucked it up for a few hours or gone to get it yourself. You're in for a big lifestyle change when you have to put your wants aside for a child who is 100 reliant on you. Yeah you're the asshole. Not for having a craving, but for acting like a toddler about it. I've been pregnant, cravings can be intense, but they're not emergencies. You could have waited until later, or even the next day. I can't even imagine leaving a family event even a minor one for a craving. Get a slushy on the way home. Birth doula here. Try increasing your protein intake. Might help with the sugar cravings. Apart from that, you're the asshole. Why didn't you go get it on your own? You're the asshole, a craving is something you'd really like to have, not life or death. You acted poorly, like a child, and made both of you go. Why couldn't you go alone? You're the asshole. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Drive yourself to get a slushy and come back to the party. You should like your 19, not almost 30 and about to become a mother.